All right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another vlog video. We're gonna record the next few days, but today we're gonna stop by Kino. And I know I always stop in Kino Kanoai, and you guys are probably like sick of it, or you guys probably love it because some of you can't go to Kino, but they just had a, they closed for a day and they re renovated in there. So maybe they'll have a bunch of new products, but first stop of the day, I'm actually going into a store that I got beef with right now because they don't let me record in there, but it's Barnes and Noble. So we're gonna check it out real quick because I'm walking by it. If there's anything cool, I'll try to sneak a clip. But let's go into Barnes and Noble. They have a bunch of movies for 40% off. All right, vlog, we are back at the crib now and we do have an unboxing from Surigaya, of course. You know, Surigaya, it's an addiction, um, but at least it's not that much money and stuff in America. And we also have a little Ray figure that I just got from Amazon, but I'm gonna throw it in with the package and everything. Okay, so this Surigaya haul was very random. I saw that they had free shipping to the United States and I was like, all right, I'm gonna just go on my wish list. I have like 100 things on my wish list, but I ordered like, I think it was like eight or nine things. So without further ado, let's open up all this stuff. I feel like you get a box like that every week. Basically. First thing we got, Amanda's gonna either like this or hate it. You ready? I already saw the relax time thing. Lady Tsunade! <laughs> they got Lady Tsunade! They did her like the bleach figures! No way! But it's Lady Tsunade, I don't have the Tsunade figure, so that one is going on the shelf. I mean, why is she like that though? <laughs> Next, we got my boy Toji, and I got him for like literally like ten dollars or something they'd be charging like thirty dollars for this at gamestop which is kind of crazy but we did get a toji figure also sidetrack i just got this in the mail as well it's a ray figure next i got this for i think it was like four bucks it is a three pack of kaiju number eight plushes so i was like oh that's cool like this is stuff that i see literally at kino and they'd be charging like 20 30 dollars for these little plushes but we did get Kafka, Ichikawa, and Mina right here. They all came together, so really cool. Then we got this for Amanda. She don't know what it is, but we got her this acrylic. Is it chips? Is it chips? No, it's oh. not chips. It's this acrylic. I'm going to show y'all. She can't see it yet. Boom. Is that Momoji? It's Momoji. Oh, Momoji. I love him. <laughs> so I got her a Momoji acrylic stand. Next, I got a, another thing of Toji. It's from the Mystery Jujutsu Kaisen series, and I bought one like a while ago, but I wasn't able to pull him, so I just bought him. He was like cheaper than me trying to buy them and collect the mysteries, so just wanted Toji. And then last but not least, I got the one to go with Rayo. It is the Nagi Q Posket from the episode Nagi movie. So now I have all the figures from the episode Nagi movie. We have both the Nagi and Rayo as the regular figures, and now we have the Nagi and Rayo Q Posket. Okay, so I just opened up everything out of the box, you guys. You guys already saw um, the little kaiju plushes. Then we have Toji, big Toji, and small little baby Toji. Then we got Nagi Q Posket. We got <laughs> Tsunade. And uh, we got this Ray, which is broken. The head is broken, but I have crazy glue, so it's okay. But like, bro, it literally came broken. From Amazon. Shout out to Amazon, bro. This is why I don't order nothing from Amazon. This is Amanda's Momoji acrylic stand. Hi, vlog. So we're back outside and we're about to stop by Kino. I'm very excited. I don't want to get my my hope up, but I'm hoping they got new. But let's go into Kino Kino. So we came downstairs for the magazine. They have a few new ones. This is new. That's old. This is new. I don't know what anime slash manga that's from. They have a Black Butler magazine, which is kind of cool. Um, and then they have this one as well, which I don't know what this is. So I guess they had inventory day and did nothing because there's nothing new. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting some more things to be put out. Like, damn, they did a whole inventory day for what? Like, they got no new shipments in or nothing? Kind of disappointing, to be honest. This is an insane title. An insane title. And like, why do I kind of want to get it? Just to see. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But if you want a good manga series to start, definitely recommend this one. Um, smoking behind the supermarket with you. So calm, so chill if you want something to just chill and read. I found these random bleach acrylics that were not here before, but it's literally just R Rukia, Renji, and Biakia. Honestly, I'd get all three, but they're $10.99 each. I'm just going to get the Rukia one. I know I'd be calling Midtown Comics mid, but that's because it is. But if there's a chance that those Fruits Basket figures could be in Midtown, I'm going to check. Alright y'all, I decided to stop at Five Below on the way home because I haven't been to this one in a while. 
I feel like Fabulo has not had anime stuff in months. They better be like cooking right now in the studio and just gonna drop a bunch of stuff because there's been nothing. Like squishy ramen, bro. Like I don't want that. Like if we could get Rick and Morty figures, we could get some Naruto figures and other stuff. Like literally Fabulo has just became a place for like mid Funko products. Like, I don't know, there's nothing. When I'm recording this, tomorrow the Haikyuu movie comes out. So we're going tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning to watch the Haikyuu movie. They have these new like poster books. So it's like 12 posters in these books. There's this one, there's a Jujutsu Kaisen one, a My Hero one, but that's about it. All right, vlog, we are back at the crib now and we got really not a lot of pickups. We got like four things. We got one little Rukia acrylic stand for the bleach section. But speaking of bleach, I got these two card packs on the way home at some. I never really record it, but there's this counterfeit like fake anime store with a bunch of fake anime products in there. I'm literally not allowed to record in there, so that's why you guys never see it in the vlogs. But I never buy anything from there because one, it's way overpriced in there, like fake anime figures literally like three times the price of a normal one and they look bad half the time but sometimes there's some funny ones like i wish i could record just to show y'all but i saw these um little just packs of cards and i was like oh these would be cool to open up on tiktok live so i got some for the haikyuu movie since the haikyuu movie does come out tomorrow when i'm recording this and then i got some bleach cards because i've been in a bleach mood recently and then at five below i went in there to get some snack that i like i already ate it and then i got this as well it's gummy ramen so i'm gonna try this on tiktok live as well but yeah so now we're gonna cut to me going to see the Haikyuu movie tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, it's the next day. You already know what time it is. We're going into the movie theaters. I haven't been to the movie since, I think, Across the Spider-Verse, but we are ready for the Haikyuu movie. We got the pin on. We got the Kenma and Tetsuru shirt on. And I might have bought some Dunkin' to sneak into the theaters, but nobody has to know. All right, y'all, the movie theaters is so dead nowadays. I feel like nobody even comes to the theaters. Low-key kind of sad, but at the same time, I don't mind it because I kind of want the movie theater to myself. But like, there's going to be people there because I already booked it online and I saw that the receipts already taken. Oh, I'll probably definitely go and see Deadpool though. That's a movie I'll come back to see. Alright y'all, we're in the theater right now. There was no like poster or nothing of even the movie. No poster for the Blue Lock movie coming out. There was literally nothing even showing that Haikyuu is playing. So I don't even know if this is the right thing. It just said go to Auditorium 6. There's nothing that shows it. Hi, y'all. The movie is starting. Well, at least the ads are starting. So, Studio Ghibli Fest. Ooh. Let's go, Blue Lock trailer. Blue Lock trailer. Just finished the movie. We're leaving now. W movie, 10 out of 10. The ending scene with Kenma and like the first person point of view, if y'all saw it, whatever, I don't want to spoil anything, but like that whole animation was so tough. But yeah, now it's uh, time to leave. All right, y'all, so the movie theater is near Olio, so we're gonna go into the cool little anime store over here. I was looking to see if they had any cool Haikyuu things in there since I'm in the Haikyuu mood right now, but they really didn't have any. All right, y'all, we're going into Book Off because I want to see if we can find any Haikyuu products. I think I'm gonna get this Nendroid. I've been wanting an Android for a minute now, and since I just saw the movie, I literally already have him, so I feel like we gotta get Bokuto. Damn, if I didn't have this already, this is a really good deal. It's the mini Funko of Light, like official licensed and everything. Like, this is like, I have this one. It's like a $30 little figure. This is super cool, I'm not gonna lie. Volumes 1 through 7, it's an Animage Comics. I don't know what it is, it's in Japanese, but like, it just looks so cool, and they're only like $3 each. Kinda wanna do all right, we copped Bokuzo. He was $30. Not bad at all for an Android. Um, he doesn't come with all his extra stuff, but it's fine because I don't keep my extra stuff anyway. I wind up selling it or just giving it away on whatnot. So this is what we got. All right, vlog, it's a few days later, and I never ended off the vlog, but I got one random pickup that I didn't record. Me and Amanda went to a GameStop, and at the GameStop, I was able to find one of the Toji figures I've been looking for, and even on Surigaya, this figure was expensive. It was like $40, $35, and at GameStop, surprisingly, it was cheaper than most places. Um, it was still $27, but we did wind up picking up this Toji figure, and now we could add it to the little Toji shrine that we have building over there. So here's the Toji section that has been building slowly with all of Toji's merch that I have from him. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Stay tuned for the next vlog and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Grind to 90,000 subscribers and we out. <laughs> Bow!
shopping till we jog, yeah. Shopping till we jog, shopping till we jog, shopping till we jog, yeah. What is you doing to me? I just didn't need me a fiend, eh? I just got past his souls, cause he know he's seeing me, yeah. Shopping till we drop, I don't need a lot, I just really want you, babe Shopping till we drop, I don't need a lot, I just really want you, babe Stop with us deep in the snows and she know me cause I'm cruising